Hi there, it's Noel from creationeffects.com and today I'm going to show you how you can turn yourself into a puppet that you can animate in real time simply by moving and talking in front of your webcam. And uh, you can see that this handsome devil here is copying what this handsome devil here is doing so that when I talk, he talks, and when I move, he moves, and where I look, he looks. And I'm going to venture out of After Effects for this tutorial. We're actually going to be using Photoshop and an app called Character Animator, which now comes with After Effects. So if you have the latest version of After Effects, you have Character Animator. I'm using Creative Cloud 2015, and Character Animator is still in somewhat of a testing phase, so it'll be interesting to see how this tool will improve over time. Yeah. For now, it's great for bringing to life simple 2D characters that are created in Photoshop or Illustrator. So I thought, well, if it can do that, it should probably be able to do still photos of a person. So I started tinkering, and uh, this goofy puppet is the result. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first thing you want to do is download the Photoshop file at the link in the description. This file has my face, and all the facial features are separated into layers and organized so that when the file is imported into Character Animator, a puppet is automatically made and rigged and ready to animate. Now, I wasn't crazy about potentially thousands of people downloading my face, but I ended up deciding it's just going to be a lot easier for you guys if you use my file as a template, and then you can just replace it with your own images. So open that file and take a look. And before you start taking pictures, you want to know what you need pictures of. So maybe the easiest way is to open up this layers window so that you can see all the layers and then take a picture of it with your phone so you can reference it later when you're taking pictures. Uh, for the eyes, you'll want a shot of them shut for when your puppet blinks. And then also get a shot of them open really wide so that you can see your whole pupils because you'll be cutting those out later. And I actually used my wide open eyes as my main eyes in my puppet uh, just because it was more cartoony. And then also note inside this mouth folder you have a bunch of different mouth positions that you'll need pictures of. You'll need a smile and an open surprised mouth and an ah sound and D and E and so on. Also you're going to want your face layer to be featureless like this. So what I did is I took a photo of my torso without a shirt on and just copied and pasted some of that skin onto my face. And finally, you want to think about how much of your puppet's body you want to show. Character Animator lets you animate your arms and legs just by dragging them around. So get your legs and arms in your shot if you want to do that. And I just have my upper body here because I wanted to keep my puppet simple. All right, once you know what you're shooting, go somewhere where there's adequate light. I actually had my wife take pictures of me outside, which wasn't easy because my doctor told me that I was a certified ginger. And I wasn't really sure what that meant, but he said that I'm not allowed to spend more than 15 seconds at a time in direct sunlight. So my wife and I had to run outside really quick, take a snapshot, come in for 10 minutes, and then run out again and so on. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier for you guys. Uh, just be sure you take them all in the same light so that the colors match. And when you're done, open the photos in Photoshop and just start selecting copying and pasting elements into your main puppet file. You can use the magnetic lasso tool for selecting the hard edges around your body. And then I use the polygonal selection tool with a slight feather to get a soft selection of the mouth and other facial features. And then you just copy and paste them into your puppet file and uh, position the new layers correctly and make sure they're in the correct folder and location in the layers panel and rename them to have the same name as the original layers that are in there and then delete those original layers. The one part that might be a little tricky is the eye because the typical cartoon arrangement of the pupil on top of eyeball on top of face doesn't really work for a realistic face. And you can see I have this one layer called eye alpha where I actually made a feathered edge copy of the eye and then made a sharper selection around the eyeball to erase it. And if you want, you can paint a little shadow around the inside edges here. And uh, then further underneath that is the blank eyeball layer that I painted with a brush tool, which gives it this creepy dead guy look. And you can use this eyeball layer in your own puppet if you want, but you may want to change the color to match the whites of your eye in your own photo. And then in between those layers, you've got the pupil layer. Okay, that'll all be the time-consuming part, and now comes the fun part. Be sure to save your file, and then you can open Character Animator. You can launch it independently, or if you're inside of After Effects, you just go to File and Open Adobe Character Animator. And you'll see some default puppets in there, but we can just ignore those. Just go to File and Import, and then choose the Photoshop file with your puppet. And next, with the Photoshop file selected in here, click on Add to New Scene, which will open up a new timeline. 
And if you don't see yourself over here, click on the little webcam icon. And then comes a very important step of calibrating the camera. And what you want to do is put your mouse cursor over this set pose rest button and then look directly at the eyes of your puppet and then click the button. And that should reset the position of the puppet and just make it work better. Plus, for some reason, I think you'll find that it's just a very satisfying button to push. Okay, so now you should see all these red tracking dots on your face. And what that means is I just successfully hacked your computer and I can see your every move on my monitor. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> You should have seen your face. <laughs> you, yes. <laughs> you can turn on or off the microphone here, and when the microphone is off or when it's on but there's no sound being made, the puppet's mouth will show either the neutral position, the surprise position, or the smile, depending on what your mouth is doing. And if the microphone is on and you're talking, the different mouth shapes will show up and hopefully appear as though it's saying what you're saying. So you can hit record here and then make your animation. And when you're done, you just export it and you could bring it into After Effects if you want and add a cartoon effect or do whatever you want. So I know that wasn't very in-depth, but there are quite a few good tutorials from Adobe that you can access from the help menu if you want to take your puppet a step further. Uh, you can do things like animate the arms to wave and have earrings or hair dangle or swing from your puppet as it moves. And you can make certain facial features like angry eyebrows, for example, show up uh, using a keyboard shortcut, which you can specify. And best of all, you can record different elements of the puppet individually to really perfect your final animation. So you can focus on the speech and mouth in one take and then focus on hand movement in the next take and then add them all together. So it's a pretty cool tool. I hope you liked the tutorial. Enjoy my face. And also, if you're interested in other ways to cartoonify yourself, I made an enormous effects package for After Effects, which turns your footage into artwork in just about every art medium that you can think of. So you can just drop in your footage and make it look like claymation or watercolor paintings or pencil sketches, chalk on chalkboard, marker on whiteboard, a Van Gogh painting, graffiti, halftone prints, pen scribbles, and actually a whole lot more all in one product. So be sure to check that out. It's called Creation Artifacts and it's at creationeffects.com. That's it. I'll see you at the next quick tut. Ugh, I hate that word. What is it? Tut? Tut? Stupid word. <laughs>